Google Stadia is really good and I wish more people knew that. Oh, okay. So this is from XDA developers. Those are the Android um, people. I think they're like putting out Android tutorials or something like that. I can't remember. I wish more people appreciated how Google Stadia actually is. It is really good though. I mean, it's for, I have a lot of complaints about it, but it's way better than all the other services, including the Switch. I love the Switch, but I mean, I have a hundred, was it a 256 gig card on there or 128, I forget. I have a huge card in there and then I can't download that many games. This isn't a Google Stadia fanboy write-up. Uh, I want to clear that up right away. I started out as a skeptic. With that out of the way, let's get right on, right to it. Google Stadia is very good, and I wish more people appreciated this. You can point fingers directly at Google for how Stadia has been handled throughout its short life so far. Go ahead. I'm there with you. Point away. But the people actually working on Stadia, the product, should be very proud. It's superb. It is. It's awesome. But Steady is also troubled from Google shutting down its first party game of uh, efforts to shopping, uh, shopping out the tech to third party suitors. There is still apparent commitment to Stadia, which is good. But this is Google and Google has a uh, pen chart for canceling good products, whether people will like them or not. I still haven't forgiven them the mountain view overlords for killing google reader or the original incarnation of google podcast yeah they, they kind of they, they do mess up a lot stadia is truly very good though and i feel it gets down in memes and negativity where it just isn't deserved players counts probably aren't the greatest and i still have that nagging feeling google will pull the plug sooner or later but right now stadia is alive and i love it here's why and why more should give it a chance there are two aspects i want to touch on when it comes to the actual technology that makes up Google Studio. The first is the Linux backed in hindsight. This was probably a bad idea. I just said that. Uh, the games are made for Windows, not Linux. The primary reason Linux game, gaming is as good as it is on hardware like the Steam Deck is down to Valve and a thriving community of people working together to make it better. So game developers don't have to because they wouldn't. Google Stadia based in its, itself on Linux means it needs a de dedicated port. By contrast, Amazon Luna is based on Windows servers with NVIDIA GPUs, so the process of adding games is less complex and more appealing to the developers. Google, it seems, has seen, seen the light on this, but hindsight is a wonderful thing and it should have used Windows to begin with. That can probably explain at least part of why the ca catalog of games on Stadia isn't bigger. And without games, you won't get people to use the service. True that, true that. The front end of Stadia though, the cloud streaming tech and experience for players is truly outstanding. Compared to Microsoft Xbox Game Pass streaming and Nvidia GeForce Now, Stadia has been my favorite. I can't compare it to Amazon because I'm not in the US. Until recently, I was limited to a 6020 internet connection and Stadia is the one that handled the best, where the others would struggle to let me games from the cloud on a regular basis. Stadia just powered through. Now I have fiber. It's putting 4K games down without breaking a sweat. Ooh, I want fiber. I'm at something of a loss as to why Stadia on the TV hasn't taken off more than it has. Again, you can probably point fingers at Google somewhat. The latest Chromecast with Google TV didn't even support Stadia at launch, which is wild. What kind of message is that sent? Like it seems most other Stadia players I know, I grabbed the Stadia Premier Edition pack as a bonus offer on my YouTube Premium subscription. If uh, little else, it was a cheap way to upgrade to a Chromecast Ultra in the living room. But boy, was I surprised by how good Stadia on the TV is. The UI could use a, a spruce up and the controller certainly isn't my favorite design. The controller? Oh man, that's my favorite controller. But the overall package has been very, every bit as good as the Xbox consoles that's been sitting under the same TV for years. In fact, my, by using the cloud, Stadia is much faster to load than my old Xbox One X that, that I can't part with. Until recently, my internet wasn't good enough for 4K gaming, but that's fine. What it could handle, it handled with ease. That's my favorite controller. 
it's been a particularly fav uh, favorite of my children. My son has logged 36 hours in terrar Terraria to this point on Stadia and actually prefers it to the same game on the, his Xbox. It loads quickly, it virtually never stutters, and it looks incredible. And thanks to Stadia Pro, I've been able to add a decent selection of child-friendly games to my library without having to buy them up front. I can't live without a Chromecast, even with a smart TV uh, and building Stadia and was a nice bonus i've traditionally used it as a secondary device playing the odd hour here or there but now i have fiber i'm seriously considering putting some more time in on stadia i could even get back into gaming on the sofa i pay nine dollars a month for stadia pro and even without using it heavily i consider it a great value not least because that pretty fiber a fa affordable subscription has supplied me with many hours of keeping the kids entertained. Stadia Pro gives you the opportunity to exclusive discounts on buying some games, but it really real value is the library of titles you can get from it at no extra cost. And, and they never go away. Once you, once you claim them, you claim them. Here are just some of the titles I've added to my library. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to keep reading. Oh, he bought these. Okay. I'm not going to keep reading because um, if you're a Stadia person, you know all this already, right? 